if you could shadow one YouTuber for the day, who would it be and why? Mr. Beast. And I can tell you, I've only watched like four U- Mr. Beast videos. I, it's, his content's not really, to me, is not that interesting. I like the production. I like how outrageous it is. Uh, it's not really my kind of content per se. Uh, the reason I say him, because I thought about that one for a long time, because I just think it's just so outrageous. I would love to see what that looks like where you do this at scale with a team of 25 people yeah. and kind of whatever, calling look, I'm sure they call or whatever. They call like a car dealer and go, hey, you know, we're doing this video um, and we want to have one of your cars to be um, featured in this video. And they go, oh, cool. They go, yeah, but we are going to drop it off, uh, off a bridge. <laughs> I want to see what that's like. <laughs> the production behind this and are they indeed having fun, but also the business side because it is a business. He's making good money. He's making good dough. He's giving a lot of that away. Did I, did I, share, he... did I share the podcast with his manager that was... Um, yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. It's funny, it's just I I I would I would love to shadow him. Go sure. go for it. What are you going to say? I was going to say the funny thing with him. So I've listened to a lot of podcasts with him on it, and it, and I mean this as a compliment. He's very boring on his podcast because he says the same things all the time, and he has he has that process right where he's like, you know, you got to do the hard work. You got to put in the hundred episodes. You got to do work on your time th- he'll say the same thing like even though he's at 100 plus million subscribers i don't think his process has really changed i mean it's got grander undoubtedly right he's he's spending more and, and the rest of it but at the core the way he approaches things seems to be pretty much the same i, I agree there's so much power in Sticking to that same message, I had a client once who told me, she says, oh, after 10 years, you still have the same or similar kind of messages. I'm like, yeah, isn't it fascinating that 10 years later, <laughs> I still have to talk about this? Yeah. And they think it's like completely genius and, and breakthrough. I'm like, And it's not even me. I learned this from people who came before me who said the same kind of things. So I don't think you have to be super original or new or different all the time. It is often very basic things. We like to make things very complicated. It's the same with fitness. Of course, it's more complicated if you believe in anabolic windows and you need special creatine powders. Of course, that will help you sell stuff. But the reality is, is anybody into fitness, anybody who's into strength building will tell you similar things. They'll tell you about rest, calories in, calories out, um, compound exercises. Progressive overload. Yeah, yep. so the, the, those principles have not changed, have not changed at all. And they've been around since the day of uh, Lou Ferrigno and Schwarzenegger to, you know, even, even even earlier, probably like hundreds of years. I don't think principles change that much. Yeah. So it, to me, that's very enlightening and very uh, sobering to see somebody who does that cool stuff, who keeps saying, guys, it's not that hard. But people want it to be hard, maybe because... That's how they sell they think stuff. It's though, more Yuri, interesting. Right? You can't you can't sell boring, boring sure. programs, right? If you can have this differentiator, it's like, oh, you know, you, you're not talking about your metabolic window and your blah 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 blah. You know, rather than saying, oh, well, you know, just do some exercise every day and progress, you know, get a little bit better. Like it's boring, yeah, but it works. And to do a push up, yeah. yeah. Maybe it is, but so it's so it's it's very refreshing to see him do that because he is, I think, now on the list of like top hundred influencers in the world, and good for him. I yeah. I think he's he's doing a a genius job, and not without criticism because, like I said, he's done some stuff for charity, and people are saying that he's a, he's a shill and he's using that for his own gain. Well, then so what? He still helped like a thousand people get cataract surgery, so I think that's really cool. Yeah, but I I, li- I like that he's keeping it real and keeping it simple, and uh, you know. It is my my whole conclusion of my forty six years in life is most things are actually pretty simple. You just got to work really hard for it. 